What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, we're actually back at Copart. And if you saw our latest video, our latest vlog, we came invited by Churamides and we opened up an account. I accidentally bid it on a vehicle and that's why we're here today to pick up the new RGB truck. <laughs> guys this is the new to us OBS so you're gonna be getting some OBS vlogs and videos into our channel so here it is guys Take a quick look at the interior. Let's get a little bit of work. It's got 240 original miles. It's the only thing that trae lleno el tanque de gas. Grandpa, you know, little token. Era un viejón. Un viejón. Grandpa, please drive safely. Say grandpa la chocó. This one no andaba, no andaba. Me. Let's open the door. ¿Cómo se abre, güey? Oh, there we go. According to the OBS. We're new to the OBS. Scene. It's a Vortec. Damn it, bro. I don't have to get on a wall, get on the aceite, the power steering. Aprendela. Al alarma, que no sabe el alarma. Hmm? Está el arma. Me falta el filtro, ¿verdad? Ya, me falta el filtro. Me falta el filtro box. Voy a traer a la madre. Me está tirando el filtro de la cabra. Sí, además que es el Horster. Horster. Me está tirando el filtro. So yeah, so y'all gotta be prepared, guys. Vamos a ver si lo podemos prender. It should turn on. Key, keyword. Should. La madre. ¿Qué se llama? ¿Qué se llama? ¿Qué ¿No es el date ahí? No sé qué. Ah. Duralast, pero no es el date. Es donde es de. Duralast es de. ¿Rail? No, 
No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, la pila. So yeah, don't have a battery, guys. I have to get a new battery and turn it on, but everything seems clean. I'm pretty sure it'll I'm pretty sure it'll it'll, it'll turn on once we get the new battery on it. Yeah, I need to need another thing now, see look at that. Pero pues, la calamos, la intentamos prenderla, no se pudo. Hay que acomodarla porque me lo pusieron mucho para enfrente. Then we can strap it down y fuga para el cantón. So yeah guys, ya subimos la mamalona, the new OBS. And uh, this truck wasn't on the list. The fact is the point then, don't it? You stole a car that wasn't on the list. You stole a car that wasn't on the list. At all. No, no. No teníamos intención de comprar nosotros una UBS yet. Pero salió la oportunidad y la ganchamos. Y a como dice el Copa Chuy, precio de pulga, we got el precio de pulga. So we got a very good deal on this truck. And... Por lado meter el estilo nuestro, ¿eh? estilo RGB. We're uh, of course you guys are gonna be witnessing the build. I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll decide to keep it or de repente we give it away. No sé. We'll, we'll, once that time come, you guys will know. Uh, but yeah, guys, it was actually pretty easy to buy this truck here at Copart. And back then, cuando cuando vi cuando yo quería que a mí me gustaba comprar eso, o sea, que pues quiero comprar un sábado ya porque pues te ahorra dinero, ¿verdad? Back then, pues, miraba los cars y, y yo quiero comprarle y es cheap y this and that and I'll fix it up y lo hago a mi modo. Este, so, la experiencia, the experience of buying a vehicle in Copra is actually pretty easy. I, I just register my company and they give you a purchase power with a deposit, of course, and de ahí, de ahí te vas para adelante. You start bidding on whatever car you look at. Y yo que se le va que salió esta, and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna bid on it, but I saw the price was like real cheap, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna bid on it." So I le pico el bid, y de repente me le an award, but it was an approval, which means that the, the the seller had a reserve on it. So we negotiated back and forth, and then I gave him my final price. I didn't hear from him that that day. The following day, uh, when I wake up, I check my emails, and it says, "Congratulations, you won." And I was out of it. I was like. One what if I didn't bid on anything? No pussy. This guy uh, released the reserve and I was awarded the the OBS and it does have a uh, it does have a, a hit on the drivers on the passenger side door and the fender, but it's already fixed. So we're gonna get it to match a little bit more, do a little bit more of the bodywork because the bodywork is all fucked up. So we're gonna do a little bit more of the bodywork, match it up, and then. Of course, we're gonna go with my compass IHC. We are gonna be getting a drop gate for it. And it's a V6, so we do plan on rocking the V6 for a little bit. And then we'll probably just do a swap later on down the road. Hey yeah, guys, this was a truck that wasn't on the list. And well, there you have it. You are gonna be seeing some OBS content in this channel. So we have guys la, la OBS. And we're actually wearing the Team OBS gear, as you can see. Shout out to my compas uh, for hooking us up with some Team OBS swag. By the way, guys, they do have a giveaway going on. And it's some well racing wheels. All you got to do is go to their, uh, to their store, teamobs.com, and you'll have all the details on how to win those wheels. And that was, uh, it was just proper to put on the Team OBS gear to go pick up our OBS. Uh, hopefully it turns on. We're gonna stop at Walmart. We're gonna get a battery for it because the battery is completely shot. We're gonna be checking the fluids. See, hopefully it turns on. Ojalá, ojalá. Si no, tener que que moverla. I did see that it's leaking a little bit of uh, the steering, the fluid. So it might be you know, something minor or I don't know. But we're gonna have to get that checked. But overall, the truck is clean. It's like clean, clean. The undercarriage is clean. The old Ford, the burnout truck, that one's off the bottom. I guess, I don't know, it was like a winter truck or something. But this one looks clean, so hopefully it turns on. Ali uh, But yeah, guys, we're gonna stop at Walmart real quick. We're gonna get that battery and we'll get some fluids and we're gonna turn it on once we get home. So, we already put on the battery, guys. We added some uh, coolant because they didn't have any Sorry, coolant. I can't do that. Shut up, Siri. We're gonna see if it turns on. Thank 
Nice. Now we gotta just uh, put some uh, good fuel on it and take it around the block. So, no, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna go. Se va a quedar, estar, a estar sucio los inyectos. Sí. Bad fuel. Yeah. Enduro la parcering. So. Sí, pues ya, ya tiene. Eh, pero está bad, bro. Ah, te voy. First time out. Nice. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, my Anna will take it. Everything checked, but man, everything turns on. Uh, transmission seems like it's working. They're both. Está mamá, ¿no? No te digo que the power steering sí, porque yo miré que estaba tirando. Porque si mira tampoco lo de los gatos, es una señal que tengo como. So. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, with the accident or whatever happened to it, it might have uh, messed up, but man, my pa ya, estaba malona. Como dice compa Chuy, a peso de pulga, we did get it, a peso de pulga, so that's bad. It's, uh, it's going to be the new project para RGB trucks, so once we're done with it, va a quedar bien mamalona. Uh, again guys, that's going to be it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, and Stay tuned because we're going to get some more OBS content. Pa parte, ¿verdad? También tenemos la Kilo. We got a Pantera. We got to finish up. And, of course, our burnout truck. We should be getting an update on that one this week. So, guys, stay tuned. But for now, that's it. Like, share, and subscribe. And nos vemos en el otro.